This video is about how to install a virtual cockpit in 2021. Here is the old cluster. Like this cluster too, but I had the same cluster on my previous cars, so therefore the upgrade. Here is the part number for the old cluster. I bought the car before the new was acquired in the beginning of 2021 and couldn't believe it when everyone told me that this mod can't be done anymore. I started to gather all the necessary information because this was the most wanted mod for me. So I decided to take the risk and see if it will work or not. Got a lot of different information about it, so I thought I'd make a video and tell what's needed to get it to work. AliExpress and eBay have a full installation kit that is required. Parts that's included in this kit is frame, cable harnesses, screws, steel holding brackets, steering wheel column trim, trip reset button, top plastic cover. You have two options. One is to buy a used and take the risk of it being stolen. You need to buy one with lesser miles or you can't match your current miles. The installer needs to have a mile correction tool to match the miles. Or you buy a new one with zero miles that is much easier to match your miles with and no risk that it won't work. If you decided to buy a used one, be aware that the mileage need to be lesser than your current mileage to get it to match, otherwise you can't match your mileage. If the mileage on your used cluster is higher than your current cluster mileage, it can't be matched. Many people say that you need to send the logbook from the car where the VC has been removed from, but that isn't right. About the installation process, the installer needs Odis Engineering OBD. Only authorized people can do it with licensed Odis ID, otherwise it won't work in any way. Here's details of what the installer does when installing the VC. Once the installer connects the VC to your car, he needs to get the permission digitally from Audi, where they check if the unit is stolen or not. It can take up to 48 hours to get the answer, but often it takes 3 to 10 hours. After that, the component protection needs to be removed. Your immobilizer needs to be matched to your new cluster. And your keys needs to be coded. 
installer needs to cut your dash to get the VC to fit or you need to purchase a facelifted dash. To the MMI unit, if you have the Highline MMI, it's not necessary to upgrade it to MMI 2 unit, but then you won't have the full navigation screen on the cockpit, as in my situation. I will maybe upgrade the MMI in the near future, and I will put a video on it as well. You will also need the view button on your steering wheel to control the cockpit. You can either change your current button harness or you need a facelifted steering wheel. In my case, I bought a new steering wheel with the lovely legs. This can still be installed without the view button, but it's worthless because you can't control the different functionality of the VC. If you buy the VC from another country with different language, logo, displayable options or miles instead of kilometers, that could be coded and work with your requirements by a good retrofitter. My personal thoughts of the upgrade. It looks great and completely changes the look of the interior and feels like a game. Regarding the price, this is a very expensive mode that could cost somewhere about 2000 to 3000 pounds. And it's a big risk to buy it used. I had a headache thinking if I will get the permission from Audi or not. So, my tip is to buy a new one or buy it from a trustworthy person or a scrapyard. Let's give it some breaths! In the next video I will give all necessary information about the steering wheel and airbag. This is done on S3 but it's basically the same way for all Audis. A big thanks to Dynasty AB Sweden for this work. Feel free to ask questions. Like and share helps the channel a lot. And thanks for watching, hope the video helps.